Oh, sorry. I wanted to do this uh, video on Joe Biden, basically. Um, I might be a little late doing it, but I just saw it. And it's just like, you know, man, all I wanted to do is just not go to do anything, really. I didn't really want to get involved. The reason why, I mean, I'll get back into, like, basically my history. For me, with Joe Biden and President Trump, you know, you know where I stand generally. Obviously, I would never vote for a Democrat. Um, I was raised a conservative. My mother's conservative. Her parents are just, they're socially conservative or race or that way. Uh, not black people actually were fiscally conservative at one point in life. And we started having all these abortions. I don't know why, but yeah. Um, but anyway, um, to me, I have always been a conservative. I've always been pro life. I say this in many of my videos in the past. I think. Oh. Uh, but I've, yeah, I've. I've been in many of the videos in my past, basically, and stuff, and it's like, honestly, I mean, like, um, I voted for Trump, basically, in the past, because I felt like, several reasons, one, I liked his, uh, um, how he ran on immigration and the death penalty, law and order, and, you know, built that law, and, you know, deportations, I prefer deportations, especially self-deportations, I don't want to be paying for anybody's plane ticket back, I think they should pay for it, the only way you pay, make them pay for it is, you know, make sure they don't have anything here, anyway, it's a long story, but yeah, I generally like to release on immigration, um, death penalty. My main issue with him was abortion, actually, because he, during the primaries, it wasn't really specifically him. It was people that were running against him brought up the fact that, like, abortion in the case of rape and incest is a necessity. Okay, if it's a necessity, count me out of the Republican Party, okay, honey? I do not need your graces, your beliefs of if your father is this or that, or your status means you deserve to die and you deserve to be killed. Like, if you believe abortion is murder, but you say that people should be murdered because their fathers were rapists, then what kind of person are you? Like, you're worse than the people who are pro-abortion, because the people who are pro-abortion, they're saying they're not killing anybody. But you are literally saying you're killing people because their father was a rapist, and you're not even killing the damn rapist. Like, you make no sense. You, I think you can support a lot of things. I think you can be racist. I think you can be sexist. I think you can be hateful in so many ways. It's crazy. So that was the main reason why I didn't want to vote for Trump. I eventually did because of the whole situation with Scalia dying. And... On top of it, Hillary Clinton had the nerve to say, right before the election, I want to make partial birth abortion legal, so obviously I felt like I had no choice, basically. I felt like, well, that lady is crazy, and, you know, like Trump, he's not that insane, okay? Um, so I went with it, you know, and then on top of it, like I said in the past, there was somebody talking about immigration and stuff and talking about voting in favor of immigrants and thinking, you know, that, like, because I'm black, that I would vote in the way she wanted. So I was excited to do that and vote against what she expected. Um, so that's the main reason I voted the first time. This time, I honestly did not want to vote for so many reasons. First, it was coronavirus. Coronavirus, it was like, for one, you're saying like with coronavirus that, you know, we we can't get our second stimulus check. That, that kind of bothered me. 
Secondarily, I couldn't get my stimulus check because of a whole bunch of issues. Like, one, my mother claiming me as a dependent. Two, they weren't checking properly because obviously I, I haven't lived with her in a long time and you didn't even know that. Um, the fact that, like, homeless people can get the coronavirus stimulus check, fuck with me, I didn't like that. And then thirdly, the whole situation with coronavirus existing, I didn't want to go into a poll booth and vote for anybody and die later. Because, I mean, I, I don't want to deal with anybody with the coronavirus going around. So those were the main reasons why I was like, I'm not going to vote this time. I'm just not going to vote, right? And I actually plan not to vote. I literally plan not to vote. I didn't. I did not plan to vote for anybody. But instead, when I hear the racist Biden say, I mean, like, I know the dude's racist, okay? All Democrats are racist. They want to make sure black people can abort their kids and we can have half the population that we have. Because if, if we didn't have abortion, we'd have, I think, a quarter of the population right now. So, I mean, like, obviously they like our numbers low. If our numbers are higher, then they have to answer to us. They have to make our situation better. And, you know, they don't want that. They want to kind of wean themselves off. So then after a while, our vote is kind of like replaced by someone else. And then, and I'm not getting into who that someone else is. You can pretty much gather who it is. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to get into that. That you could just think who it is. Or maybe you can't. Not my problem. Um, so... To me, uh, that just generally, you know, I know they're racist. You know, I was always taught liberals are racist. I mean, they they want to keep up the number one killer of black people. So, <laughs> I mean, you can't like black people if you really think you want them to just die out like that. Oh, my battery's going a little up. But... Yeah, anyway, so to me, that was kind of like expected. I know Biden said like that people in the past, like uh, Barack Obama was clean, you know, because it, for a black person and that black people are dirty, you know, and that's, you know, really insulting, obviously. Um, and he said other negative things like, Poor kids are as uh, smart as white kids, which is so, yeah. So, I mean, like, I know the man is racist, but I don't understand why he had to try and compel all non, all black people who don't want him to actually vote. Why, why we gotta vote him? Now we gotta vote because you have to, to go and say, you know, that, you know, if you're not voting for me, you're not black. Like, okay, so now I have to vote. I have to vote. And I, I didn't even want to vote. I didn't. I, I wanted to stay home. I, you know, honestly, I've done this before. With Barack Obama and Romney, I didn't vote. I did not vote. I don't like Romney. I don't like Obama. Obama is a piece of shit, in my opinion. Obama is a piece of shit. Real, real talk. And to me, um, Romney, that, that guy sucks. He's no good. He's no good for anyone. He's not good for liberals. He's not good for conservatives. He's just a bit of shit, too. At least, even Obama, for example, at least he was good for liberals, and he wasn't even actually that liberal. For conservatives, well, that's why Romney didn't get elected, because he couldn't serve anybody. So, I mean, anyway, for me, I don't mind. I don't... I don't really like to vote anyway. I don't like going out and voting and standing in that long line and taking time out of my day and waiting and shit. I don't like doing that. I don't. I'd rather just do whatever I was doing that day. Instead, no, you have to make me come out and vote because you say, if I don't, if I don't vote for you, then I must not be black. Okay, I'll show you. So I'm like, I'm like, okay, then that's the only thing I can do. 
I didn't even want to vote for Trump a second time. I really didn't. I just wanted to just finalize this, like, see what happens. Because, I mean, it was the whole situation, like I said. The only thing, like, was Trump. I don't even hate Trump, like, in any sense like that. No. One I think was, like, like I said, there were some issues, like, with the whole coronavirus situation. And then there was also other issues, like, for example, like, immigration, death penalty, things like that, you know, and it's like, to me, I just think with immigration and, like, the death penalty and things of that nature, people saying, like, that, um, he was harder or, like, he's racist or did something wrong or something on those issues, he did everything, everything to please liberals, basically, in my opinion, for criminals. I mean, how many freaking criminals have been let out of prison? And how much has the death penalty been implemented? Yeah, exactly. You said you're going to bring back the death penalty? Where is it? I mean, these illegal immigrants, where are they? They're still in this country? Seriously. And then right when he got inaugurated, the next thing he did was... Oh, let's try and bring the dreamers in and try and legalize them. Back in May, when he was running, he was saying, Oh, we got to make sure the, um, well, I don't want this video to be removed. So I might as well just say, what are they called? Um, I use a different term usually, but people call it a bad term. Um, peop, peop, the citizens, basically, who are born of two illegal parents, um, whatever you want to call that, okay? But, yeah, he was talking about how to make them not citizens back in May, before he was president. So, to me, it's like, okay, so you are saying you delivered? You delivered what? That's my problem. It's like, would you deliver? I understand you delivered before this whole fiasco situation. Yes, he did deliver in the economy. You think that's enough for me to be like, thanks? Okay, so you really thought that I just voted for you because I wanted a good economy? I would have just stayed home. Like, literally, I would have just stayed home. But the main reason I was considering voting for Trump again is because of my ideas on abortion. Because, like I said, the first time I voted for Trump, it was because of abortion, technically. Like, the reason I didn't want to vote for him was, but then, again, it kind of became it, because it was like, Scalia picking judges, this chick wants to make partial birth abortion legal. So I was like, well, you gotta do something, you know? You can't just let that just come about, you know? So that's mainly the reason I was gonna vote for him. But then after this corona situation, I got mad, and I was like, nah, I'm not doing anything, you know? But then things like this guy comes along. I mean, Biden is, he's obviously, like, mentally degenerate, uh, has Alzheimer's, really messed up. But in, outside of that, he's also racist. You are just taking advantage for granted of but the black vote like that? To me, I'm like, okay. If that's how you want to play it and say, I'm not even going to care about anything that you want or what you need for your community, you better vote for me because if you don't, if you vote for Trump, if you don't vote for me, that you are not black, okay then, okay, I'll show you. That's how I see it. I'm like, <clears throat> you're going to take, you're going to act like that? Eh, I better vote. I got to vote for Trump because otherwise I'm just basically Biden's bitch. I'm not doing that. I'm not buying this bitch, sorry. <laughs> and that's how I feel. I didn't mean, like, you got shitted on by Biden, and you're still gonna give your vote. And that's like some old slave mentality thing going on there. I don't agree with it. I just wouldn't put myself through it. I know some people, they don't really have any sense of self-dignity. But obviously, after that, well, we don't need to get into that on this video. But anyway... There's a lot of black people who just don't have any self-dignity, okay? And so, they will vote for Biden. Heck, Biden could be doing blackface and calling black people the N-word. He'd still get black people's votes. Just look at Virginia. 
we all know north of them. So I'm just saying, there's some black people who just like to be the butt of democratic jokes. I don't know why. That's just their choice. And I mean, like, they're free to make their choice bad for me. I cannot go not voting for Trump in the next election as a black woman. I have to now. And it's sad because I didn't even really want to. I was just like, I didn't really care. But I mean, like, if I'm going to vote, if I have to vote, I knew if I had to vote, I was going to vote for Trump. But now I'm compelled to actually go to the polls and vote. I didn't want to do that. So, yeah, that's about it. It's just like, basically, I just, like, why are Democrats this dumb? Dang it. Like, really, you're just trying to make a call on all black conservatives, all people who are in the middle, all black people who just weren't sure you're going to try and insult all of them? Okay, if you want to insult all of them, I don't think you're really going to get their vote when you're insulting them. And he's done this in the past, honestly. He's insulted people, not just black people, but, like, fat people who ask him a question. Um, and it's funny, because he's attacking fat people, but he's got boobs. Like, you can't be skinny and a man and have boobs. Like, the two things don't come together. So I don't know how he thought he could talk against another person for being fat. So that's generally my complaint. I just feel like... Now they basically compelled me to have to vote for Trump. And I just was like, I didn't feel like voting for Trump again. I just felt like, you know, let's see what happens. And now, I don't have a choice. Thank you, Biden. <laughs> I guess that's all I'm going to say in this video. Alright, bye.